What was it like to, to win San Remo? Yeah, I couldn't really believe what I was achieving at that moment, the moment you know, when I crossed the line. I was winning the monument as the first Norwegian in history. It was, uh, was a great moment and I, I still remember it and get goosebumps on my arms. So, uh, yeah, I, I cannot really describe how the feeling was, but it was a great feeling. Can, can you tell us about your first memory of San Remo, either watching it as a, a young boy or racing it? Yeah, I watched it uh, yeah, as a young uh, rider when I started cycling. I watched every year uh, along with all the classics and uh, yeah, I remember it was always good weather when I watched it and when I was racing it was already always really bad weather, <laughs> so it was a bit different watching it on television, but uh, yeah, maybe this year will be better. And what are your thoughts on the route this year? It's pretty similar to the one you raced last year with a few little changes. Yeah, I think it's more back to the original how it was and uh, I'm happy that they don't put one extra climb, of course. It would not have suited me at all, so like this is uh, is good. They showed that last year was good and now with the old uh, Via Roma finish I think will not make a di big difference, but uh, but uh, I think it's nice that they go back to the old classic uh, finish like for the history of the race and everything. You mentioned the, the Via Roma uh, finish. Do you think perhaps it could lend itself to a, a break, a breakaway finish? Or? It doesn't matter so much, I think. But okay, maybe it's a little bit shorter from the climb, from the project to the finish. So, so it can maybe have a bit, little bit bigger chance if a break to come through. But uh, I don't think still it's uh, really make a big difference from the old finish notes. And what will it be like for you coming to the race as the defending champion and how hard will it be to defend it? Yeah, title? it's not too many who manage to defend it, so <laughs> for sure it's hard, but uh, yeah, I, I feel good and confident about my shape, so I know it's possible, but of course I must also, the race must go my way and uh, I must also have the good legs, of course, to follow in Cipressa and Poggio, so, so a lot can go wrong, but yeah, I will at least try and do my best and then I cannot do any more. And who do you think will be your toughest rivals for the race? Yeah, I think yeah, always the guys who are up there will be be there again, you know. Uh, for the attacks, Cancellara can go with Saga and Nibali, these guys, they can go away. Don Almat in the climb, you know. And uh, then for sure Denko was puncturing last year, so don't forget him. He, he is quite good in this type of race, I think. Then Cavendish, he, he won it before, why not again? And. Uh, there are many guys, different type of riders actually, That's, that makes also the race really fun because there's so many different type of riders who can win this race.